quality work and finishes. Nobody wants a lemon and that is no different in the world of renovation and property. So you know what guys, renovating for wealth, it's not about smoke and mirrors, it's not about cutting corners. What renovating for wealth is, is producing a product with an appropriate finish for the property type, the market and the price point. There is no room for dodgy, shonky or unsafe work. And you know what, let me share a story with you about somebody who used to renovate in a city in New South Wales. They were absolutely well known in the industry for cutting corners, for covering up integral floors, for doing everything absolutely close to the legal line. And you know what? It absolutely caught up with them. Not only did they get a reputation with agents, they got a reputation with building inspectors. And so every time one of their properties was inspected, a building inspector could see it a mile off and absolutely made sure that that potential buyer knew everything about that property and in many, many cases scared them off. And for me, that is just karma. There is no room in any way in renovating for wealth for poor quality workmanship or poor quality finishes. So how do you get around that? Number one, you only ever use quality product that's appropriate for that property. Number two, you always use qualified and where necessary licensed trades. And number three, you always make sure that you are happy with the level and the quality of work and finish that's gone into that property. You can't expect someone to live in a property that you wouldn't even imagine visiting yourself. So remember, it's not smoke and mirrors, it's not dodge, it's not shonk. It's quality finishes, quality workmanship, and that'll make sure that you have longevity in your renovating business in your patch. That'll ensure that people are actually lining up to buy or lease one of your projects, not running the other way.